Okay, on to the last four items. Um, then fire, fire runs off, Naru's, uh, no, fire runs win, Naru's love, and the bottles. Um, basically attack, movement, defense. Um, thin fire can be used to do damage against enemies, um, and light torches, and it's probably the most useful out of the two. You're going to use it a lot, and it just looks pretty freaking cool when you do it. I'm going to find an enemy, and I'm going to show you. It makes you invincible while you do it. So, here's our little friends. We've been seeing them through this whole review. It stops time for a second, and it deals the damage. And if you want to do it again, boom. It makes you invincible while you're doing it. So, if you're getting uh, hoarded by a lot of enemies, or there's that one enemy you just can't reach, use, um, use Dead Fire. It's worth it. Um, on to the next one. Okay, this is the most underrated out of the two, and I think it's really useful, especially if you're a first starter player. And that's uh, Ferion's win. This is great because you can use it in uh, temples. You mark a place that you want to return to, and then you travel throughout the level, and then if you want to, just activate it again, and you return to that place. Example. Um, here I am, standing in one section of the temple. I just activate it. Boom. And that's marked throughout the temple. So, say at any time, I'm running to the temple. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, what's up? Look, there's torches. Do, do, do. Yeah, I got it, Navi. Hey, you listen, bitch. And just walk through and... Oh, there's a door. Okay. So, I'm in another room, another area, and I want to go like this. Uh, it gives you a chance to return to the war point, destroy the war point that you created, or exit. Return to the war point. Boom. Here I am. Here I am. Uh, so yeah, it's a useful item, especially in the water temple. Oh, that saves you so much time in the water temple. On to the last of the goddesses' gifts. Okay, the last of the goddesses' gifts is Naru's Love. This is probably one of the best items in the game. You're not going to use it too much, but it's useful against certain enemies, like Iron Knuckles and stuff. Um, simply just equip it on. Whoops, wrong item. Just simply equip it on. Activate it. There you go. And it gives you a protective shielding that makes Blinks invincible to all enemies. Unfortunately, it doesn't stop stunning. So, uh, not stunning, flinching. So you will flinch, but I mean, say you're fighting against that iron knuckle and you're low on life and whatever, you can just stand there and take the damage and not care. So yeah, look at that. Link's just stand there. He's a pimp. He's not doing anything because he's the man. So yeah, that, that's all Naru's love does. Uh, so if any time you get into a fight with your friend and say, who would win, Cloud or Link? Or who would win, Master Chief or Link? Oh, well, all Link has to do is put it on Naru's love. Exactly. Not only can he beat him with skill, that he can beat him with just pure magic. I'm sorry, I'm just being stupid. But anyways, yeah, that's Naru's love. Um, you can't use any magic attacks when you're using the goddess's gift. So you can't use your fire arrows, ice arrows, um, lens of truth or anything disadvantage. Um, on to the last item, and that is the bottom. Bottles. Okay, the last item is the bottles. The bottles are very useful. You can put a lot of stuff in them. Getting them all is a bitch, especially the one where you have to get the ghost points. Um, you are given one uh, throughout the game where you, you have to go throughout the game to get it. You have to have it, so you'll guarantee at least one bottle. The rest of them are fairly simple, except for the last one. They are a bitch to get. Um, here's the example of bottling something. You just go up to it, and you just bottle it up. There's a fairy, and boom, we have a fairy. And anytime you want to use it, you just press the bottle, and you release it. And it does its effect. Um, I'm going to go off to the area, um, oh, going off to the merchant, so you can see all the different stuff that you can uh, buy and use, and I'll explain them all, because I have time. Okay, on to the basic stuff that you can put inside um, the bottles. Um, one is you can put a fish in there. Um, no way you should pay $200 for one, but you can put a fish in there. Um, you really only need it with Jabu Jabu or to get it inside his belly. Uh, you can put bugs in there. These things are useful. Uh, to get all the golden skeletons, you have to put them in the dirt, and the skeletons will pop out and bam, kill them. You got a uh, medallion. You can also give these to the poor person. I think it's the poor person. Yeah, you give it to the poor person and they give you something. Um, Poe, you drink the Poe, you get some life back. Not a lot, though. Um, go off here. You can get the Blue Fire, which burns away at certain kind of ice. You can get Fairy, which restores a shitload of your life. I think it's all. 
or not all, no, it's not all, but most of your life back, and it activates when you're uh, dead. So it's a great item, best thing to put it in a bottle. Um, there's three potions, even though there's only two shown here. There's the green potion that recovers your magic a lot, and the blue, uh, the red potion which recovers your health a lot, and the blue potion which does both. You can also have Moo Moo Milk, have that stuff, it recovers your health, and you can take two sippings of it, so I guess that's pretty good. Look at Link, he's getting tired, because he's been kicking ass all day. Um, granted, there's other stuff you can put in there, water and shit, but um, those are basically the items you need to know. Okay, anyways, this is the end of the review. Um, I don't really, I I'll do a conclusion, just to finish things off. Okay, uh, Legend of Zelda, Orcrean Time. Let me just get into my 100% complete file, no death. Um, items and stuff. A lot of things can be used for different things. You really need to know how to work the stuff. A lot of it is all preference, but I mean, some things are just ridiculously bad. We went through swords. That's basically up to you what you want to do. I told you what's good and what's not. Um, I told you that sword is good with shielding, but then the big orange over dishes is out damage, so depends on which one you feel best using. Told you shields really don't matter, it's just how you want to look. Um, if you think that the mirror shield provides more backup, then go ahead, but if it doesn't, then so what? It's a shield. Uh, tunics, I told you, no real difference except for this can take damage from fire, and you know, you can breathe underwater and take the heat. And I told you about the shoes, stick with the Kokori boots. Um, you know, other weapons is really up to you what you want to do. Um, usually when I go throughout the game, unless certain circumstances, I always keep the hookshot on me for stunning and for going through areas. And I keep the arrows on me for range because I already have melee. And then the ocarina so that I can do the songs. I mean, it all depends on what you want to go through. Uh, there are ito other items in the game like masks and the trade uh, items. And then there's also your quiver. You can upgrade your quiver, upgrade your bomb bag. Uh, the gauntlets, which can lift rocks and certain boulders, and then the scale, the golden scale, which um, allows you to dive more. Um, again, it's all really up to you what you want to use. That's the great thing about Zelda. Um, certain areas, you're going to have to use certain items, and certain areas, it's really up to your preference. I'm not going to tell you what you have to use. You have to tell yourself what you want to use. I do suggest trying to get 100% in each game. If you're a diehard Zelda fan like I am, Ocarina of Time is my favorite game of all time, and the Zelda series is my favorite series of all time. Um, but uh, if you don't get 100%, upgrade your stuff as best as you can. Having 50 arrows definitely beats having like 30. And you know, having more bombs helps out. If you are going to upgrade stuff, remember, Deku Nuts, upgrade them before you ever become an adult. Because the first time you come in an adult, if you don't have the last uh, one of the upgrades, then you're screwed. You're not going to be able to get them. So yeah. Um, definitely get these little buggers too. Uh, the sound they make will make you cry at night. But they, they help out getting heart pieces. And if you get all of them, you get infinite money. So, well, not infinite, but you can go to the guy every time and get 200 rupees. And you can repeat it. So, I guess it is infinite. Um, but this is uh, my retry of video game review. Um, the Resident Evil didn't go over as well as I thought it was going to go. Uh, I learned uh, certain lighting things that you have to do. I don't want you to see my reflection every five minutes. But I mean, again, I, I hope uh, I hope I'm doing good. I hope I interest you guys a little bit. I will be doing Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and um, I will be doing what's his name, War, uh, Wind Waker. I will keep on doing more video games with you too. I'm doing more of them as um, to pass the time for um, Transformers reviews because you know I'm not going to buy Transformers every day, and I'm almost done with the Beast Wars line. Actually, by the time you see this, I'll probably be done with the Beast Wars line. I'm I'm doing these videos in advance, so you're gonna see them after they're done, probably like a month after they're actually done, so whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Expect more videos from me. Don't worry, I'm not straying away from uh Transformers, but I do need something else to uh balance it out. So, anyways, this is Skylink. The man, the myth, the hero, Link from Orphan Time. We're both saying peace out.